I mean, it, it, it's unbelievable. It just wouldn't make sense if you try to make it sense. And so I keep saying to myself, how could it happen? Why does it happen? And why does it happen to Thai men? And I'm having great trouble in understanding this. What, are the, what is the interest that a civil servant can have in behaving in this way? What, what, what was pushing it that this would happen? Why, why could it go on happening for such a long time? I want to understand motives far more and the fitting together of the system, a system which on paper looks so good and yet has been feeding this terrible corruption. I think it's a blemish on what is a very fine system of justice uh, in Taiwan. Uh, the role of government, the role of tax authorities, the role of prosecutors, their role is not to seize property, okay? Their role is not to prosecute people. That may be what they do, but that's not their role. What is their role then? Their role is to seek justice. Their role is to follow the rule of law. And in this case, in the Taijimen case, it's been determined that the taxes that have attempted to be collected are improper. And this is disturbing because uh, it, it, the continuation and the perpetuation of an injustice is as bad as the commitment of that injustice in the first place. And that is what's happening here in the Taijiman tax case in any court around the world, including in the United States and certainly in Taiwan. If there's been an error, we don't adhere to that error. We don't say, okay, fine, there's been an error, but too bad. If we find new DNA evidence, for example, that confirms that someone who has been prosecuted and convicted, and the appeals have gone all the way even to the Supreme Court, if later evidence shows that that person didn't do that, didn't commit that crime, we don't keep that person in jail. Why? Because we're not here to prosecute or persecute people. We're here to seek justice. And if justice from information that comes and is learned afterwards shows that a prior ruling, a prior conviction, a prior tax assessment was wrong, then it should be corrected. That is precisely the case in the Taijiman tax case. And it is inconceivable to me that there's even a discussion about 1992, uh, because the situation and circumstances there were no different than they were for the other years in which there's been a negotiation down to zero of the tax liability. And the world is watching. People are watching how this case is going to be handled. And I encourage all of the decision makers, all of the decision makers, to put a stop to this, to not seize any property, and not perpetuate an injustice that has gone on for 24 years. They have been told never to compromise, whatever the price to pay. Integrity, dignity, respect, compassion, love, and peace are at the heart of their values and of their lives. But some people and institutions have shamelessly violated their human rights to justice. The DZ are the best ambassadors of Taiji Men's teachings to the outside world because they are the living testimonies that their spiritual values can regenerate individuals and society. This is a major contribution of Taiji Men to the spread of human rights in uh, Taiwan. This is also a precious asset for the Taiwanese society and the image of the country abroad. But the National Taxation Bureau and its ally, Prosecutor Hu, nicknamed the Judicial Rambo, stubbornly remain deaf to their call for justice. Illegitimate tax collection severely impacts the fundamental human rights 
of a taxpayer, unjust taxation can further deteriorate the living of a family, the growth and survival of children, and the development and prosperity of a society. Thus, a fair, equitable, and legitimate taxation process is of paramount importance for the protection of human rights and national development. National governments are urged to make the reforms necessary to create a taxation system with impartiality, reason, and equity so that justice may prevail. The specific case of the Tai Chi Men Qigong Academy was raised as it has often been widely discussed, including by committees in the legislative Wang. This lengthy tax issue has taken time and energy from the Tai Chi Men members, which could be better spent on the high aims for which it was founded in 1966, the safeguarding and promotion of traditional Chinese culture. They claim that for 1992, the appeal terms had expired. But of course, there is no appeal term when decisions are grossly unjust, they can always be revised. In conclusion, what is happening now? Now the tax office is insisting with its bill for 1992 and threatens to seize properties of Taiji men and uh, auction them, which will cause uh, enormous harm to Taiji men and uh, to freedom uh, of belief. It's not about money. Uh, Taiji men have spent more in legal expenses uh, than what uh, will pay if they pay the tax bill for 92. It's about principle. They didn't commit any wrongdoing and uh, they don't want to admit this. It will be uh, false. The ongoing case involving Taiji men is unacceptable, to say the least, generally speaking, and also very difficult to understand from a legal, purely legal point of view. For instance, basing on the legal principle of estoppel, it should not be argued or asserted that Taiji men have to pay taxes for the disputed year 1992, as there should be no dispute at all. L'affaire Taiji men a révélé les failles fondamentales de l'État de droit et la façon dont le pouvoir de l'État a été détourné ou même abusé. Les représentants du gouvernement ont violé de nombreuses dispositions de procédures régulières dans l'affaire Taiji Men. Taïwan a gagné la sympathie de nombreux pays et organisations dans le monde pour la défense des droits démocratiques en Asie de l'Est et la gestion transparente et efficace de la crise du Covid-19. Il est grand temps que cette vieille situation soit résolue en garantissant aux membres de Taiji Men leurs droits humains et leur dignité et leur liberté de religion. Certainly, it is not a transparent one, uh, apparently, which is bad news for economy as a whole. Bad news is that the revenue service revealed itself in that occasion as an instrument of the executive power to carry out a persecution against a legitimate spiritual movement However, the administrative inertia, so close to say, still left alive some claims by the revenue service concerning exactly the same violation which was declared inexistent by the court. And you shouldn't admit uh, a fault on your side. I strongly encourage you to, to fight against this uh, persecution. I think that we should all stand by Taiji men, because again, as the video brilliantly said, the battle of Taiji men is the battle for the most important, uh, most essential human right, religious freedom, is the battle for freedom, is the battle for liberty, is the battle for justice, it is the battle for equal treatment of all before the law.